How to make money on freelancer.com for beginners in 2022. Hey guys, what's up? In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to earn money on freelancer.com. I'm going to break down for you how this freelancing service works, how to get started for free on it, and how to increase your chances of getting hired faster and more often by customers, even if you just have started on this website. You can join freelancers.com 100% free of charge from any country around the world and in addition, offering services on this platform can be regarded as a good alternative for freelancers who are struggling to get hired on other freelancing services due to the huge and fierce competition they have to face there. With that being said, drop a like and let us get started with today's video. Now, what exactly is freelancers.com? How does this platform work? And how will you be earning money using it? Well, to put it in simple words, freelancers.com can be described as an online marketplace for customers who are looking for freelancers to do jobs or complete certain tasks for them in exchange for a payment. You can say that this website works pretty much the same way as big players in the freelancing niche, such as Fiverr, Upwork or peopleperhour.com. In terms of making money online as a freelancer, most people think of Fiverr or Upwork first. However, freelancer.com can turn out to be a profitable alternative, especially for those freelancers who are barely getting any jobs or gigs on bigger freelancing platforms. Individuals who would like to get started on freelancer.com and sell their services as freelancing workers have the option to choose from a wide variety of job categories, such as creating websites, content writing, graphic designing or data entry jobs, just to name the most popular ones. If you're looking for a specific job, you can scroll down and browse through this list of job categories down below. The number between the brackets tells you how many jobs are currently available in that specific category. Let's assume you would like to get started as a freelancing logo designer on this platform. Now, as you can see, there are over 600 jobs right now you can apply for as a graphic designer. Logo designing is one of the most popular job categories at the moment, simply because it has such a low entry barrier. Which is good on the one hand because it requires little to almost zero skills and in addition also very few equipment. On the other hand though, you will have a lot more competitors in that niche, even on freelancer.com. With that being said, let us take a closer look at the earning potential of this website. As a freelancing graphic designer, you can expect to get paid from a few bucks per gig up to even $300 or more, which is about the same level as on other freelancing services. However, you can expect to have much higher chances of getting hired as a freelancing designer on freelancer.com than, for example, on Fiverr or Upwork, where you would have to compete against thousands, over thousands of competitors. To apply for any of these job offers, you will have to sign up on freelancer.com first. To do that, head back to the homepage, click on sign up here in the top right corner and after that register either via Facebook or by entering your email address down below. Agree to the user agreement and click on join down below to proceed. Think of a username and on the next page choose whether you would like to join as a customer or a freelancer. Once you have done that you will get asked to provide some information about yourself. This step is not mandatory, you can skip it and right after that log into your account to apply for your first online jobs. However, I strongly advise you to take your time and tell freelancer.com in detail what your skills are, what the fields are you are most experienced in, what kind of qualifications and certifications you have and so on and so forth. The more detailed you fill in this question form, the more will you help freelancer.com to find matching jobs for you. So don't rush here, take your time and try to show your best side without pretending to be somebody you are not. Lastly, activate your user account by clicking on the verification link that will be sent to you via email. To increase the chances of getting hired, I would recommend you to update your profile as well, 
right after you have logged into your account the first time. Try to make your profile look as professional as possible. Choose a decent photo of yourself. Give your profile a catchy headline. Tell potential customers who you are in the summary box down below. You can add more skills to your portfolio anytime here and to get the maximum out of your profile I would recommend you also to add as many experiences, certifications and qualifications as you can here down below. Now as I said, take your time with this and once you have set up your profile properly, you can immediately start applying for jobs on the marketplace of freelancer.com. A good way to get hired faster and more often than your competitors is to underbid them. The idea behind this is simple. If a competing logo designer is bidding, for example, to complete that specific job for $250, underbid him or her, but only a little bit, for instance by demanding $240, for example, for his services, in this specific case here. Keep an eye on any jobs you are bidding for, so that you can react on time in case you get underbid by one of your competitors in the meantime. Another way to increase your chances of getting seen and hired more often by customers is to collect as many positive reviews as possible on your user profile. The more positive reviews you have, the higher the chances to convince a potential customers to hire you instead of your competitor. Now you will not have any reviews at all after signing up on freelancer.com of course. So. My recommendation for you would be to start with a low price or underbidding strategy to get your first gigs and once you have collected your first positive reviews, you will be able to gradually raise the price for your services. And that's pretty much it for today guys. If you liked this video, please make sure you drop a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to click on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new tutorial about how to make money online on Passive Income Revolution. If you have any questions, don't be shy and feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Stay tuned and see you in the next video.